Today, we're going to talk about Duolingo. And, yeah, let's see me one second. And get rid of that. And there we go. Duolingo keeps getting better. Yes, the owl still nags you too much, but you can easily turn off notifications. Japanese on Duolingo started out with tons of room for improvement. There's been tons of video with people just making fun of it, but actually it's gotten better. At first, the entry lessons only contained hiragana. At first, the entry lessons only contained hiragana. Katakana lessons were added later. Now it has, it, now it has a dedicated tab to practice all hiragana and katakana. Japanese finally has a story section that Spanish received way before it. Kanji now has furigana above it to help with reading. Dolingo is geared for passing the JLP test as well as everyday Japanese, which explains their choices in introducing certain kanji. Kawaii Dungeon makes a great companion app for studying vocabulary. To really understand the grammar in everyday language, I recommend buying both Human Japanese apps and their other app, Satoru, Satori Reader. Overall, Duolingo is a great free start for beginning your language studies. It doesn't matter uh, whether you're studying English, obviously, if you're watching me or not. I always use the free ones, and it's really good for just the very basics. And as you go, um, then you can look for the other apps. But most importantly, uh, I would go to HelloTalk for practice speaking. So let's see, go in here. Now, I'll worry about it later. I should have wrote that. Anyway, I'm on HelloTalk, so you can find me there. HelloTalk is an app where you can communicate with other English speakers, and it's a great way to practice your language skills. And whatever your target language is, if you help them learn your language, they'll help you learn English. All right. Well, thank you for watching and trust Christ and have a great day.